So YouTube, we're going to be talking about the Frigid Scale today, or the Frigid Mode. What is the Frigid Mode? It's just the third mode of the major scale. And in terms of the actual construction of the scale, you have the root, you have the flat 2, the flat 3, the 4, the 5, the flat 6, or the flat 7. Now, what is Frigid? It's a sound. It's not a scale diagram. It's just a sound, a type of sound you can get out of your instrument. Kind of bothers me when I hear people talking about the modes as if it's just a scale pattern. I see this a lot in magazines, I see this a lot in, in videos. You get someone saying, okay, you learned this pattern and that's it, that's Phrygian. And that's not really what it is. I mean, Phrygian can be played with all the major scale patterns you know. It could be the cage system, it could be the three note per string system. It all depends on the actual harmony going on behind what you're playing. Now, there's two ways of getting the Phrygian sound in your fingers. First of all, which is my favorite, is the parent scale approach. This way, you're just thinking about the parent scale behind the mode. In plain English, you have this chord here, you want to play Phrygian over it, you think about which major scale is related to that chord, it's related to that mode. For instance, if you have Let's say you want to play A Phrygian. You go up, find the major scale behind A Phrygian, which is F, and play F major, the F major scale. Now, there's a quick trick to this. It's a big shortcut. All you have to do, take any chord and go up a flat sixth. Take A again, A minor seven or whichever Phrygian chord you want to play, in this case, I'm playing B flat major 7 sharp 11 with A in the bass, which is the 7th, which is, you could probably not get a more Phrygian chord than that. It's just the epitome of Phrygian, I guess. And you have, that's A Phrygian. You can look at it as the name of the chord, or you could just look at it as A Phrygian if you want to play Phrygian over a power chord or wherever you want to apply it. You go up a flat six, so you have A Phrygian. What's a flat six from A? It's F. You can do the same thing with any other chord, any other key, tonality, whatever. Just go up, go up a flat six from that note or that chord or whatever, and play the major scale of that. So here again, just to make it clear, you have A Phrygian. What you're gonna do? You're gonna go up a flat six, the flat six, A's flat six is F. So you're gonna play F, the F major scale, and that's gonna give you the Phrygian sound. The other way to get the actual sound under your fingers is to learn the actual chord diagrams. But it's not just one chord, it, um, not one scale diagram is what I mean. It's not just one. You have all your major scale, Diagrams, all the major scale ways, all the ways you know how to play the major scale. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the root, which is the little circle around the, all the diagrams you usually get, you're gonna move it to where it would be, in this case, Phrygian. Now, I suggest you learn the scale to, to mode, to parent scale relationship beforehand. Why? You're gonna get a lot more in terms of harmony, in terms of scale relationship. It's going to help a lot with just understanding the harmony behind a piece of music. And then go to the scale pattern thing. Why is it important to learn both? Because with, if you just play the major scale as, as you know it, you're going to get a type of lick, type of movement in your fingers. If you, after, if, after learning that, you actually play the scale diagrams, you're going to notice that, that you're going to get different movements, different type of movements in your playing. And basically, it'll just expand your vocabulary with different things, different sounds. But yeah, again, there's one point I want to make. There's not a difference in the construction of the scale between major scale or any of the modes. It's the same thing. 
So I don't want to see you falling back into the trap of, oh my god, I know Dorian, but I don't know Phrygian, or I know Phrygian, but I don't know Mixolydian. It's all the same thing. What changes is the background, is the ambience that's going on behind it, is the harmonies, the actual chords that's, that's, that are happening behind what you're playing. That's the most important thing. It's not really a chord di uh, scale diagram, it's the harmony going behind it. Okay, so I hope you got the actual message. If you have any questions, you can comment below. If you have any suggestions for new videos, again, comment below, leave me a message. Remember to subscribe and hit like on the video. Thanks a lot.